Yeah, that should be fine. What's up, everyone? I'm back. Even though I wasn't really supposed to be back, but here I am doing some uh, schedule Frankenstein graveyard shift hour stuff. So this is Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, I haven't played this game in like probably five years now, but I used to be fairly okay at it. I'm not really that good, but I remember how to play the game. So I'm going to do a 150cc run for you guys, and I have like a pretty gracious estimate. So... Um, First things first is I'm going to be staring at my TV, which is completely way the hell over here, and it's completely like away from my camera, so I'll try and look back, so I'm not, not just like getting a camera of like the side of my head, but um, I can't play these games off OBS because it just drives me crazy. Um, but yeah, normally in like high level speedruns you use uh, Koopa Troopa and Paratroopa, and then you use the, the barrel train. Um, I'm not going to do that, because that's for high-level people. I'm going to be a scrub instead and play with Toad and Paratroopa. Um, on the, uh, eh, we'll play in the barrel train. Okay, so, uh... Time starts when I hit A on this, so I'm going to give it a countdown, and then on go, we go. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, so All Cup Tour is All Cups, which is the Mushroom Cup, Flower Cup, and um, Star Cup, and Special Cup. Oh my god. Um, the first track, whenever you play All Cup Tour, is always going to be Luigi's Circuit. Wow, I am bad at flicking the stick. And then the courses uh, 2 through 15 are completely randomized, and then the last course is always going to be uh, Rainbow Road. So you guys are going to get awesome, really bad deathline gameplay. Um, so the reason why you use the bail train is it's really freaking good at drifting, and if you're really good at um, flicking the stick back and forth, um, you can get these mini boosts like super fast, like really well. I'm not doing it very well though. Um, the reason why, oh, nice. The reason why I went with Toad instead of a uh, Koopa and Paratroopa is because in the event that I get completely screwed <laughs> and I'm in like last place or something, I want Toad's special ability, which is um, a gold mushroom, and that allows me to like boost up really fast. And I got robbed there, but I still got first. All right. <laughs> Thank you for the GL. That was a super late split, but whatever. All right, DK Mountain. One of my favorite courses, actually. Um, this has an interesting skip. I also I just totally whiffed the boost. So the boost in Double Dash is you have to hit uh, A on start, or on like right as you hit go, so. So hopefully I can still pull off this interesting skip that saves um, a couple of seconds and I'm not a complete scrub because it's not that hard to do. I just have to like remember the, the motions for it. Alright, well that makes it a little bit easier. Alright, well normally you <laughs> you would drive off that and then you wouldn't you would have to skip this like hairpin here, and if you aren't bad like I am and super rusty at this game, uh, that would go a lot better. But that's okay. So I'm actually gonna hold on to this for a second while I get my way back up into the lead. And then I'll use it. 
Wanna get down the hill? I'm gonna hit this once, I swear to god. <laughs> I usually don't play with the build train because it's kind of slippery and you have to practice to get good with it. Um, nice game. Um, I usually use a different cart when I play casually in this game, but this is the fast cart for speedruns. So normally you would pick um, Koopa and Paratroopa because shells <laughs> and you're always going to be in first anyways and you're good at the game, but I picked Toad instead of Koopa because if I suck, which I'm going to suck, um, I want to be able to get Toad's special item, which is a golden mushroom, which is like basically just like a super super turbo boost. Okay, I'm going to like baby this. Ta-da. That still saved me a ton of time. Not if I fall off the bridge. That's okay. We're not going for a perfect here. <laughs> We're going for a finished run. <laughs> That's why I have a 50 minute estimate. <laughs> this is all I had. <laughs> Sherbert land. So this game at a high level actually has a lot of really interesting tech and skips. Um, I highly recommend you check out the world record holder Goomba NL. He's super freaking good at this game and completely just blows by this. Um, my PB from like five years ago is a 39.40 something and currently Goomba's world record is like a 32.40 something so <laughs> Goomba's really good to be seven minutes faster than me in RTA. <laughs> Um, thankfully, in this game, there's not really bad rubber banding. If you get out to a sizable lead, you can keep that sizable lead as long as you don't mess up. And the game might occasionally try and throw a blue shell at you or something. Just one ride, is that freezy? Um, like that. <laughs> so that's something you have to occasionally deal with. That's part of why, um, a little bit of variance to these all cup tours and the, the cups in specific, um, just because of CPUs throwing items at you half the time. Oh, of course, what a perfect throw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use this time to plug, um, please donate <laughs> to Direct Relief so I don't have to play games like these anymore <laughs> on stream. It was, I definitely did not submit this, and this is a super backup run. Um, unfortunately, our Bioshock runner did not show up, and I think it's because there was a case of uh, missed time runs. And they were thinking it was on a different day, so I'm here just to basically fill in these slots so our schedule doesn't get super destroyed. Um, dry Dry Desert. This, game, this one's pretty meh. Um, that tornado will go around the entire track though, and it will constantly try to destroy you. Um, and then these pokies can be kind of annoying. I need to stop throwing these shells and just hold on to them. Hey Realm, if you have any donations or anything to plug, you should do that. Uh, sure thing. We, uh, we don't have any new donations at the moment, but one incentive I would like to draw people's attention to, since it's coming up soon, is the character bid war for Sonic Mania. 
that will be closing at the beginning of the Sonic Rock, which is coming up in about an hour and a half. Um, the options are Ray, Mighty, Knuckles, Tails, or Sonic and Tails, and Mighty is currently leading with $70. So, if you want to see a particular character being used by Argus in Sonic Mania, then make sure to get your donations in now. Yeah, I kind of remember how to play this game. Oh, there's some mushrooms over here. Grab that. You can do um, red shell and blue shell dodges. I actually did a red shell do uh, dodge on Luigi Circuit. I'm going to do one right here as well. With a well timed uh, turbo boost, or mini boost, whatever it's called in this game, um, you can dodge them. But it's really obnoxiously hard with the blue shells. Um, but it's a lot easier if you have like a mushroom or something, or you're just actually good at the game. Okay, game, can you please stop <laughs> eating up on me now? I'd appreciate that. <laughs> it threw another red shell at me. So the reason why I really like this Mario Kart game is, for one, it was my first, and two, it just feels a lot more unique um, and chaotic compared to some of the other ones. Um, part of the uniqueness is having two characters that have different special abilities and whatnot. Mario Circuit. I'm amazed I didn't hit that champ shop. Oh yeah, if you throw shells, I missed. If you throw shells at those Goombas though, um, they will drop mushrooms that you can run over and um, get a little boost from. I need to stop throwing my items, although I don't want a wrong box. So that does nothing for me. Please stop giving me this item, game. <laughs> I really don't want it. I miss the boxes. You're seeing my skill come into play right now a lot. Like, I'm so good at this game. Like, I promise you, I'm really good. Like, so good. Like, I'm insane at this game. Can't be beat. <laughs> There you go. see, he dropped a mushroom, but unfortunately I got blue shelled into a red shell, so I can't really do anything about that. <laughs> yeah, and especially once you start playing 150cc in this game in mirror mode, the game really doesn't want you to win. Um, it does its best to like make sure you don't win, <laughs> and it's really obnoxious with that. Here we're doing Mushroom City, which is also one of my favorite stages. Okay, thank you. That was lovely. So this is one of two courses, I believe, that features cars. Um, all the cars are really annoying. Wow, what a throw game. Um, all the cars are really annoying, and they do damage to you, and by damage I mean they just knock you over, and it's really obnoxious, other than the mushroom cars. If you hit a mushroom car, it'll spit out a mushroom, and bombs explode like that. <laughs> so don't run into bomb bombs, because you lose a ton of time. Amazed. 
This game does not have really big hitboxes, despite how it may seem. Um, so you can get away with some cheese on some of this. Barely didn't hit that car. Oh yeah, Wiggler train tool tool bursts are really nice. They do they they roll you over. All right, game, you're really doing your best. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, can't do anything about that one. by the banana. <laughs> That's because I haven't played those games yet. Yep, you're right, Realm. You, you get the idea. So once again, I just want to say thank you everyone so much for watching and donating and everything. Baby Park. This one is super chaotic. Seven laps of just hairpin. Fun. No railing. Yep, that happens a lot too, where, um, problem with, uh, having, playing small characters is if you run into a, an opponent, um, that has a bigger weight class than you, um, because this game is divided into three weight classes, it's, uh, light, medium, and heavy, and if you're a light class and you bump into a heavy, they just destroy you, it's a little unfortunate, but, of course, the con uh, converse is that, Okay, please stop getting bodied. Um, most of the heavy carts don't have any acceleration, so they, they take a long time to get going. I'm getting bullied. <laughs> this is just 40 something minutes of me getting bullied live on stream by RNG. Like that. <laughs> Yeah, that's part of our culture, and sometimes even the best of the runners have to deal with that nonsense. <laughs> Um, where was I going? Oh yeah, my tangent. So I wanted to say thank you once again everyone so much for watching and donating throughout this event. We're not even into our... We haven't even completed our first full day yet and we've already completely destroyed our donation goal. Um, we've made a, almost all the incentives so far. Um, every bid war almost had something into it, so... I'm really happy to see how we're doing this year. And I just want to thank everyone for hanging out as well. We've had a really good average viewership this year compared to some of our previous years, especially during this graveyard shift, um, which I'm really happy about. I appreciate all the support that we get. This is Waluigi Stadium, which is usually a fan favorite, though this stage is tricky. There's a skip here that you can do um, where you take a mushroom or like you kind of boost off like the side of the track um, upwards into right where that last um, jump is and um, it'll count you as out of bounds for that jump even though you were below it and then it warps you back to like right in front of the jump and it actually saves a couple of seconds um, but I am a scrub and I can't do that so <laughs> I think you need a mushroom but yeah you would like bounce off this wall and go flying and it's interesting and the game kind of robbed me on that one Yep, keep getting red shells. 
You're doing great, game. Okay, you can stop, please. Uh-huh. Because I totally get that. I got robbed. I want to see the time on that. By point less than point six. <laughs> Just a little over 0.5. That's un unfortunate. Or 0 0.05, I think it was. This is Mushroom's, uh, Mushroom Bridge, which I believe is the other track that features cars. Um, this one also has a fun gimmick that you can go on, like the side, like the borders over there. Um, I'm gonna try this once. It's definitely not faster, but it's cool as hell. Um, and it's kind of hard to do on a 150cc. Ah, okay, well I kind of half did it. <laughs> um, in Mushroom Bridge, you can go over like the the sides of the bridge. There's like some boost pads and um, an item box up there. And it's definitely not faster to go up there. It's just I think it looks cool, so I just wanted to show that off. I missed the mushroom. All right. Mm-hmm. Yep. More red shells. There was a star there. I, I barely saw it the last second. Okay, didn't get that mushroom either. So the game kind of works for you and against you in, in some cases. Down a jungle. This one's really tough, actually. Um, has an obnoxious uh, section up here that you can choose which path you go. Of course, you pull a red shell on your first item. Why wouldn't you? Okay, just got destroyed by a Bowser shell. Thank you, Bowser, Bowser Jr., whoever pulled that one. Um, because normally you go up this and you go really fast and you go drifting and uh, I can't do that on this cart because this cart's a little too squirrely for me. I normally play with a cart with a little bit of better like handling um, and less like um, less acceleration. Okay, uh-huh, mm-hmm. Loving it, game. Really loving it. Okay, that's... <laughs> hey, so I don't know if any of you know this, but there's a there's a book series out there called A Series of Unfortunate Events, and it's a, it's a 13 book series by Lemony Snicket, and that's exactly, that series covers exactly what's happening to me right now. It's A Series of Unfortunate Events, just... A poor Deathline getting absolutely bullied by Mario Kart Double Dash. <laughs> I didn't. 
like that mushroom. And yeah, there's actually a section over here that you can go off to the right, but the web bridge is really slow and you can only get past that area with the mushroom. Okay. Thank you for pulling your specialty in first place and then immediately using it right in front of me. You're doing great, game. I could not drift past that. Alright. <laughs> I still got second. Uh. I don't know what you're talking about, Realm. Don't know what you're talking about. Yoshi Circuit. Um, really cool track, one of my favorites. This might be my actual favorite. Uh, you can do a little skip right there if you have a mushroom, or if you're really good with the uh, nice drift, I didn't go that direction. Um, with like the, the little turbo boost, but I'm kind of bad. I can do it with a mushroom, but um, can't do it otherwise. There's also another sh shortcut up here, which I vaguely remember where it is, I think. Maybe? No, I don't. I honestly don't remember. You come out to that side right there. I honestly don't remember where it is. I'm gonna keep one of these mushrooms just so I can maybe pull off that, um, that trick. Or not. Okay. Yep. Game didn't want me to. All right. Okay. Appreciate the game. You're doing me wonders. This is, I knew damn well this is exactly why I should make a 15 minute estimate instead of a 45. Because <laughs> this game is not that difficult, really. And um, to actually just play, it's just the game likes to just beat up on you in 150cc in mirror mode. So that's just part of it. That's a star, which DK got. Alright, I have a mushroom. Please don't screw me. I want to try and show this trick off. Alright, whatever, that's fine. Ta-da! You can skip that. Okay, my green shell didn't hit that red shell, but it didn't matter because I got <laughs> lightninged anyways. MTH is a very good actor. Very good actor. And a very good singer, too. Uh, Peach Beach. Not one of my favorites. This track sucks, in my opinion. <laughs> um, mostly because of uh, Cataquax. <laughs> also, there are no such things as purple Cataquax in Sunshine. Game lies. They're still as annoying in this game as they are in Sunshine. Come on, pull yourself up.
Hope you all are enjoying this wonderful top tier gameplay of Mario Kart Double Dash by yours truly. Um, <laughs> main reason why I stopped running this game is because I definitely knew I was not going to be able to get good enough at racing games. <laughs> I don't have the patience in the, the practice to put into the games like these. I enjoy them casually though. They're very fun casually. This absolutely is some top tier gameplay. And if you guys want to see some more top tier gameplay as Silver in Kingdom Valley during the Sonic Project 06 run, we're still $40 away from meeting that incentive. So if that's something you want to see, make sure you get your donations in for that one. That's coming up in about three and a half hours, I believe. So make sure to get your donations in if you want to see uh, Gordon Ramsay, the Gordon Ramsay, uh, play as Silver during King of Valley. Yeah, that was actually one of our bonus incentives that we added in. Um... Yeah, we've we've hit all of our vanilla incentives now. Uh, we've got we've got a couple of incentives. Oh. After the uh, after the Sonic block, we have the I Want to Be the Pendulum run, and we have an incentive for the Penalty Area Showcase, which is currently sitting at 20 out of 45 dollars. So if that's something you guys want to see, get your donations in for that one as well. We'll be coming up after the Sonic block in about five hours' time. You guys are killing it with the incentives and all the donations, we really do appreciate it. So unlike uh, Shrek Smash and Crash Racing, where the game just absurdly decides, hey, I want you to do five laps or whatever, um, Warrior Coliseum is the only one they went, maybe three laps is too much. And so you only have to do two laps of this course, which makes this only like a two and a half minute track. Um, this is one of my favorites as a kid because just all these like tight curves and areas to drift around makes it really fun for young me to try and like not get stuck on the wall all the time like a scrub. All right, for the fans. Did it for the fans. Yeah, I like how I drift dodged, dodged, drift dodged that red shell, and then I literally just drove into it because game physics are great. Daisy Cruiser, this one's interesting. By interesting, I mean kind of bad. Mostly because I'm bad at it. Um, it's just a giant figure eight for this course, but I find it like absurdly hard for some reason sometimes. To, like do this course like at all like correctly mostly because of the dining table room is stupid this room right here stupid um, there's a second area down there that you can grab an item box and then you can sh it shoots you out that horn right there but slow uh-huh that's another thing, when you're drifting around a corner and there's a red shell behind you, tossing a green shell or uh, an item behind you most likely won't hit it because the game doesn't... The game kind of throws that at an angle and not like where the red shell is going to be behind you. So you have to like get in a straight line with it. Alright, this is what I mean. <laughs> Stupid dining table room. Alright. I'm gonna do this once just for fans because this is already a bad run anyways. You come down here, you can get a... This item box will always have a double and then you can just get shot out through the little horn there. Or the fan exhaust pipe type thing. Nice placement for some green shells.
And also, if you're really good, you can go on the inside of this pool, and I think it saves a little bit of time. But I'm not good. I'm only somewhat moderately decent at this game. I'm not last place, and that's all that matters to me. I did my one run and done. Also, those lifesavers there that are, um, or like preservers, <laughs> lifesavers, um, if someone hits them and it comes back down and it smacks you in the face, it actually will like hit you like a, like an obstacle in any other course, which is really annoying actually. Hey, Bowser's Castle. This one has a lot of cool skips that are all really hard and really specific. And I can't really explain them all that well, um, but I highly recommend actually going to YouTube and just looking up like the tasks for this level, or um, just like the ultra skips on this stage. They're insanely hype to see performed. Um, excuse me. Okay, the collision there lied. I don't know what that was. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, but yeah, you should go. Uh, if anyone's interested in this game, I highly recommend checking it out. It, it, it gets really technical at the higher levels, and it's pretty easy to pick up for a Mario Kart game. Um, just learning how to drift and dealing with dumb RNG is the classic. All right, I'm gonna go the normal route here because I got kind of bad cycled there because of where I was. Normally, you would jump off that little like ledge there and save having to go around that uh, hairpin corner. I landed on a banana that I couldn't even see. You're doing me wonders, game. I ran into that bump. That was my own fault. <laughs> he specifically drove in front of me, I swear. Just blocked me from getting that. I couldn't react to it. What is this track? Oh my lord. <laughs> if you press the button to, to throw an item when you don't have an item, you'll just honk your horn and the character will like, haha, I don't have an item in my hand. And then... Of course, one of the main mechanics that I haven't really explained is, um, of course, you have, nice, you have, uh-huh, sure, game. Since you have uh, two characters on your cart, you can actually swap between them freely by pressing the Z button on the GameCube controller, and that's how you can just swap your, uh, your characters back and forth if you want to, like, save an item with Toad and then try and get an item with a paratrooper or something like that. All right, I did it. <laughs> Got the skip once, and that's not even really that big of a skip. I don't remember what le what course that was. I don't know if that was 14 or 15. I think that was 14. No, I think that was 15, because I got fifth and then third a couple times. Hey, Rainbow Road. Cool. Hey, it's the last uh, track. Um, this, in my opinion, is one of the worst iterations of Rainbow Road. <laughs> it's not as bad as like the N64 one, but man, this track sucks on Double Dash. <laughs> um, they took like the gravity setting of the cars and everything and made it like 0.75, and like that can happen. And it just, 
it feels really tough to do. Um, this section is also really annoying. Because all these boost pads are actually just like aggravatingly in the way. Also, a nice Yoshi egg just destroyed me. Um, shells on this course bounce, so sometimes they actually won't hit the opponent. Mm hmm. Sure game. Uh huh. Sure game. Um, and then another gimmick for this one is uh, Falling Stars will hit the, the track, and if they hit the track, um, they'll explode into a star item that you can run over and, and use, like that, on the ground that I just missed because I couldn't see it. Um, but I remember many, many, many times as a young Deathline. Um, I'd be going for perfect clears where I would get first place in every course. Because I'd probably play this game like a million times. Like, I at l I probably played like a 100% game for this like at least a dozen times. Like, I'd play it all the way through the game, I'd unlock everything, and then I'd just wipe my. my Clear data, and then um, I do it again because I just love this game that much as a kid. And I remember a lot of the times um, I saved that. That was epic. Um, this course would ended up killing my like perfect run, and I get like 158 out of 160 uh, total points, which is very sad <laughs> when you're however old young Deathline was and wanted to get a perfect clear. I don't even, the game, I did not hit that railing, but the game says I did. Hey, one more lap. Um, time is right when I cross the, the checkered line on this lap. Okay, that's a great spot for a wrong box to be. And I fell off. <laughs> Simply is flicking the stick just once left or right and you can just go flying off this course. It's great. I didn't even see that banana. I couldn't grab that star. <laughs> uh, fun fact, on items on the ground though, um, hold on, I'll actually say it after here. Get ready for time, and time. Um, that's a fake gold. <laughs> that was like a 42 something. It was all right for a, a game I haven't played in like five years. <laughs> Um, so there's actually a cool mechanic, and it's not really a cool mechanic, it's actually a really interesting mechanic in this game. On items that are on the track, like the Fallen Stars, if you and another competitor hit the item at the same frame, you will both get the power up. Um, it's really rare to happen though, because two carts that are going at different speeds and whatnot have to hit the item at the exact same frame. So, um... Yeah, that's Mario Kart Double Dash All Cup Tour. Um, I hope you enjoyed that wonderful 40-something minutes of Deathline getting bullied by the game. <laughs> um, coming up next is more Deathline uh, Buffer Block featuring About Elise, which is... It's a game. Um, I am going to have staff cut to intermission for just a minute here so I can go get a drink and make it not a million hot degrees in my room. Um, but I'll be right back for another run, so stay tuned guys.